Austin the Osprey came to Hope for Wildlife last year. He was just a chick. He was the only survivor of a nest that burned. Ospreys are large fish-eating birds of prey. They make their nests in high places like power lines, which is how Austin's nest caught fire. Um, so we're gonna send him up to Shuby and hopefully um, they'll have a nice big unit for him. And he currently can't fly and partially probably because he can't get up high enough to take that leap of faith and learn how to fly. I don't think he ever learned how to fly. We got him at a very young age. So hopefully, with a little more time, a bigger space, and he'll figure it out. But he's moving today. I'm going to go up there with a face mask and gloves and a big towel. Um, the towel is used to uh, calm them down. The darkness kind of puts them in a comfier state. It's a nice open unit. It's open from one end of the barn to the other. Um, and the more units we have, the better it is, because we can hold more animals. It, the unit is really ideal for smaller birds of prey, so uh, sharp fins, merlins, that sort of thing. Um, but it's been his temporary home for a little while. Um, grab his feet. We always get control of the feet when we're dealing with birds of prey, because those are the, the dangerous parts. Um, and of course his head's covered with the towel, so he's, he's not really flying around at me. And we're going to bring him down the ladder, pop him in the box, tape him up, and send him to his new home. And that'll be just pretty much the same thing for the owl. Owl might be a little harder to catch. <laughs> there we go. Austin is the first osprey at Shubenacadie Wildlife Park. They've built him a brand new enclosure with plenty of room to fly around. He never flew at Hope for Wildlife, but maybe if he has enough time, he'll learn. I'm still holding out hope that he'll return to the wild someday. But for now, he's got a good home and he's helping people learn about our wild birds of prey.